All right. Uh, later on, we're going to welcome back, by the way. Later, we'll be hearing from two parents who learned their autistic Thank son you. was allegedly being abused by his caretakers after witnessing some horrible things on hidden camera. Now we're back with Julianne and Michael, and I want to go to Twitter. Twitter's reacting to this pretty strongly. And um, Michael, I'm sorry to say it's mostly coming down on Julianne's side. Uh, I'm s Dr. Drew, I'm sorry. This is from at Love Country, L-U-V. This is totally ridiculous. If the married man wanted to fool around behind her back, he should have been honest. I you know, part of the disease of addiction, Michael, that people don't understand is you can't be honest when you're an addict. If you weren't lying, you wouldn't be an addict. That's right. That's right. That's true. That's right. That's absolutely, absolutely right. True. And, and people think that that is a kind of uh, scapegoat or not taking responsibility, yes. and that's absolutely Laura does. the case. I do. You know, Laura as a psychotherapist, Go as ahead. a psychotherapist myself, I know that there are reasonable uh, reasons for why a woman ought to leave her husband. There's no question. But we also believe in redemption. We believe yeah. in uh, personally the God of the second chances and secular agnostic recovery programs believe in the opportunity for recovery and restoration and mm -hmm. healing. And um, my wife, because of her courage and her strength and her self-respect, that's in fact why she stayed. Mm -hmm. Laura has a comment on that, I guess. I wasn't in love with him. I wasn't in love with him. I told him, I don't love you. I don't know if I ever will. But personally, I felt a conviction that if I left him, I'd be turning my back on God. And I was not going to give him the satisfaction of me turning my back on God. Do you love God. him that's now? That's the only reason I stayed in this marriage. Absolutely. I have fallen in love with him multiple times in 21 years of being married to him, 19 years of which have been redeemed. We've uh, renewed our vows. We have two beautiful children, 21 years together, and we have walked through this same uh, tragic situation with many other couples. And because of staying, our, our story encourages couples who want to work it through, who want to get well, who want to save their marriage after 10, 20, How do you trust, Julianne? Years. How do you trust after all that you've been through? Trust is a decision that I have to make each and every day. It really is not dependent on his choices or his behaviors. Tr I choose whether or not I'm going to be a trusting person and with whom I put my trust. Laura disagrees. Trust is up to me. Uh, yeah, I mean, first of all... You're to, welcome to disagree. Well, thank you. But first of all, to say that staying in the marriage is the sign of strength, I think, is a huge disrespect to every woman that finds the courage to step up and say, I will not take this any longer. It does not... That yes, is your absolutely. own redemption, and every yes. woman deserves their own yes. redemption. Shippers. So to be able... Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. That's for them. I was speaking for me. My self-respect was to honor what I felt was my... And I feel it is today. It was my conviction that I needed to stay. I didn't want to, but I felt like it was. But just to clarify... I have personally just to clarify, women, that was your... But that was your... That was your that commitment was mine. to God, that is not, not your commitment global. to your husband. That was cheating on you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, there's a Thank big difference you. there. Yes. And yes, there is. Absolutely. And I do not encourage all women to stay. Good. Why? Why stay? Why go? That's my question. Okay, let's go we to... counsel couples all the time. As it I'm going to try to slip a quick call we here from couples Sonia. All the time. Hang on a second, Michael. Sonia in California. Go ahead, Sonia, very quickly. Hi, Dr. Drew, Sorry. Juliana, and Michael. Uh, my question is more Hi, about Julia. Hi. My question is more about her health, Juliana. Uh, Julianne, are you concerned that you might have contracted a disease, or did you, in fact, contract oh. a disease during this? Got about 30 seconds, Julianne. Good question. Yes. Uh, no, I'm clean. My husband is clean. But that is um, a step that every couple needs to take is to have the proper medical care and attention and tests run. And you're clean, you but, but really, truly, but for the grace of God. we got to take a break. Yes. More of your calls. Again, the number is 855-373-7395. This panel continues after the break.